क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ई कीडा Hey friends in the previous lecture we have discussed about that is what is the action of hi on ether and based on that we are going to talk about the mechanism of the action of hi on ether so now let us discuss about that So friends in this reaction i'm going to talk about what is the action of hot hx on ether so for that we know the general reaction and that is nothing but suppose if i consider that is r o r dash and suppose if i'm treating it with that is hx and that also concentrated solution so therefore the product that we could get is nothing but we will get that is two moles of so here i'm going to talk about that is we are using that is two moles of hx so that's the reason that we could get that is two moles of ri if this r and this r dash are same or else we could get that is one of them would be rx and the other one would be r dash x along with that of the water molecule that would be that is it would be as a byproduct it would be obtained as a byproduct so this is nothing but the general reaction that i am discussing over here and now let's come back to the main point that is the mechanism behind this reaction so friends here i'm going to talk about the three steps but let me talk about the first step and in this case we have to consider the ether that is nothing but r o r dash and in this case basically we are reacting with two moles of hx so in this case suppose if i am using first mole of hx and that is what i am writing over here so therefore the reaction proceeds in a reversible manner and in this case basically this oxygen obviously we understand this is basically the one which is having a negative charge on it and this hydrogen obviously it will have a partially positive charge on it so that's the reason that the negative charge it will be moved towards the x over here and this oxygen atom this will have an attack on this hydrogen atom so therefore the product that we could get here is nothing but r o r dash and here basically since oxygen has attacked this hydrogen atom over here so therefore here there will be a presence of a positive charge on the oxygen atom in the product while here x minus it would be removed as a byproduct so this is nothing but an ether which has an hydrogen atom also attached on the oxygen atom so that's the reason the name of this product is known as dialkyl oxonium ion so therefore we could name the step one as because as we can understand that there is a protonation of ether so therefore we could call it as protonation of ether and that is how we will get dialkyl oxonium ion so this is step number one and now let me talk about the step number two so in step number two we have to consider the product that we have got in step number one so therefore in step number one we have got that is r o r dash and here it is basically hydrogen atom that is attached to the oxygen atom and this one will have a positive charge on it and obviously it will attack with the x minus ion even that is what we have got in step number one as a product so now the reaction will proceed in such a manner that is there will be a formation of a transition state and the transition state is nothing but i would write it over here as this is x <laughs> and obviously it will form a bonding with r o r dash and this is h so this is a kind of an sn2 reaction and this is a kind of a substitution reaction where we could get that is this R or this alkyl group it will be moved along with that of this X so as to obtain a byproduct that is nothing but Rx and the other product that is what we can get over here is R dash OH. So here we have got an alkyl halide along with that of an alcohol. So this was involved in step number two. But the thing is we have to treat the product that we have got over here we have to treat it with another mole of that is HX. So now let us understand the step number three. So talking about step number three, we have got in step number two as two products that is alkyl halide and alcohol. So alkyl halide is the one that is what we have to get or that is what we obtain whenever the ether is being treated with hot HI solution. So in this case basically the remaining product that is what we have got in step number two that is an alcohol. So that is what I am writing over here that is the alcohol that is R-OH that is what we have obtained. So now this R-OH it will be treated with HX again because we are using the second mole of HX here. So now it will be a reversible process and the product that we could get is nothing but r o h 
here it will be H because in this case the oxygen which is negatively charged that will attack the hydrogen atom over here and now this is the product that we could get as X minus but if we talk about the oxygen atom again this is the one that will acquire a positive charge on it so therefore this is nothing but a protonated alcohol that is what we have obtained but so this is nothing but what we have got it as a protonated alcohol but whenever it has been treated with that is this X minus obviously there will be a reaction in such a manner that is this two electrons that will be moved towards the oxygen atom and that is the reason that the product that will that we could get is nothing but H2 but the rest of the thing is that is this is R and this is X so therefore this is what we have got it as R X but let me introduce this also that is this is R dash and even this is R dash over here so therefore we have got an alkyl halide so therefore this is a reaction where we can get that is two moles of alkyl halide and uh, that could be the same also and that could be different also depending upon the alkyl group so that's it so this was nothing but the mechanism of the reaction and thank you friends for watching this video i hope i will see you next time until then don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you so much